Hello. Good, good afternoon. We're eating Hi. pretzels. They're really quite good and they're thin. I don't know how they do that. It's really, really good. Anyway, well, we've got our trusty planner out. We're going over. Today is uh, the 19th? No, 21st. 21st of July, 2019. And of course, we're in Sa we're in Davis, California. We just came back from sacrament meeting in Woodland. We both spoke. We'll get to that later. Uh, last Sunday? No, last Monday. Last Monday was preparation day for the elders and sisters, and we typically do shopping and stuff like that also. Um, and we gathered up uh, elders from Winters, Dixon, and brought them to Davis, and then they uh, they hung out in an institute building just across the street from UC Davis, University of Davis, California, uh, University of California, Davis, sorry. And then they hung out and we took them back home later, and we just did normal stuff. You can see how exciting it was. Judy's showing just how exciting. <laughs> uh, Tuesday, we, we went to uh, district council. Uh, we used to have one district council, and now we have two. One was held in Dixon, that's where we went. One was held in Woodland. There were uh, eight, eight elders. Eight, including us. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, up in Woodland, they had the rest of them. Uh, as usual, it went very well. Great discussion. Just impressed with how focused the missionaries are and how well they are doing with what they're being tasked to do. Uh, thinking about it and Roger had mentioned how we Mormons do awkward things. We're always put in a position to do things that we maybe aren't that comfortable with, but it's good for us because we grow. And the growth is most most pronounced in the young 18, 19 year olds that come out and start to do hard or awkward things. And they just, they just grow leaps and bounds over someone who's just hanging out, working or going to school. And anyway. they basically are very, very focused. They do really well, very impressed. Uh, let's see. We're still recovering from Judy's fall. We, we, I, I have sympathy. Uh, um, pains. Pains, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not pains, but sympathy. Oh, Concerns, quiet. yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, continue on Tuesday. Uh, we want to see the sisters. We're going to be teaching two, two young men. Well, the young men. Early 20s and yeah. one was 35. 35. That's young. Anyway, um, one was very, very good, interested, childlike, trying to understand, trying to learn, wants to do good, wants to follow his savior. Uh, he's had some rough times. And the other one was uh, maybe playing with less than a full deck, but he was there and active. And, you know, these guys, one might get baptized and, and benefit his life greatly, and one might not. And you still got to love him either way. On uh, Wednesday, oops, we're going to put you on hold for a minute. Okay, we're picking back up where we left off. We think we got to Tuesday. We got off the phone, off the TV because Allie called from Minnesota. They're looking at uh, houses for us, and she did a walkthrough for us. Anyway, uh, we're to, uh, oh, we were going to take a lady out to lunch on Wednesday because... We wanted to introduce her to some ward members in Davis. We serve in Woodland, but we get tied up with Davis too. And so we tried to work that out. She's uh, She has challenges in her life. Single mom, three kids, and just got a job. And, you know, struggling money-wise, stuff like that. Anyway, we wanted her to get to know some ward members. So we, we uh, asked the uh, young women's president to come to lunch with us. And... You know, we said, come on, we'll buy you lunch. Come have lunch with us. And uh, that way she would meet this investigator. Actually, this person's a, a member. Her kids are not. Uh, one is, one, two are not. Uh, but the uh, the lady bailed out. The one that's a uh, uh, single mom and Three having kids. financial problems. And that happens all the time where people are excited, but maybe they're not. Sometimes they tell you what they th think you want to hear just to make you happy. Anyway, she didn't come, but we had a nice meeting with the young women's president and talked to her about the girls that are in this family. And so she's she's doing well. Uh, a little bit later on, um, we go to teach our class for Wednesday night. 
and lo and behold, no show. There were a potential of four or five people that might come, uh, but they were no show. Now, there were people there, but there were other members of the ward. And so we visited and, <clears throat> and strategized and talked, and it was worthwhile to go. It was with uh, four missionaries, too. And it's yeah, fun. It's yeah. just fun to be with them. And They're Judy, uh, since we didn't have a class, she's measuring uh, trousers <laughs> and looking at shirts and looking at ties. They want to make ties skinnier now. And so anyway, we had a good time, uh, but we didn't accomplish what we had set out to accomplish. On uh, Wednesday, Thursday, the 8th, 18th, we went to Santa Rosa. It turns out that that's 96 miles from here. It takes two hours to get there. And a little then, over two hours. Yeah. Traffic is... Yeah. Yeah. Two hours and 15 minutes. And uh, that was for a conference, a luncheon and a conference with other senior missionary couples. So there were, I think, six. S six other, or seven. Yeah. And uh, some of them were older than us. That was... Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. And then a couple of them were in their 60s. Anyway, uh, it was great to meet the other senior couples because some of them are as far as 300 miles away from us. And so we don't get to, uh, together very often. It was just uh, uh, very good and very casual. Uh, food was good, uh, but the message was uh, very good as well. And then the mission president, President Maservi, uh, he had uh, contacted all the elders and asked uh, for three reasons, uh, well, three missionaries to tell us what they liked about the senior couples. And so we had three missionaries uh, uh, send him a note, and he read the note, as he did for the others as well. And, and that very was sweet. A sweet. Very moment. nice. Yeah, very nice. Makes you feel good when people brag about you. Yeah. So. We're doing something right. Yeah. Okay, Friday the 19th. Um, we were recuperating from Thursday. Yeah. The traveling. Yeah, that's a, well, it's a couple hundred miles in lousy traffic. It's it's too bad that California doesn't have some better roads. Anyway, so we didn't do much on, on Friday. We might have done something, but if so, no significance. Uh, Saturday, we, uh, we were out visiting again the people that are inactive. Uh, much of the time, they really don't want to. Oh, okay. Much of the time, they. Oh, this one lady that we were going to take to lunch was supposed to meet, move from one apartment to another on Friday, and that didn't that happen. That didn't pan and out. And that's just as well. We didn't really feel like doing that. Uh, uh, so Saturday, we went to uh, Woodland, and we're we're uh, visiting again people up there. One lady's in a rest a nurse home. Uh, she was asleep. Uh, she. We had called. She knew we were coming, but she was asleep. We didn't want to wake her. Yeah. We just left her a note. Uh, another one, uh, uh, elderly lady, can't get around much. A little bit of a hoarder. Uh, unple un unpleasant circumstances in her home, but she was happy to see us. and yeah, We had a good visit. And then we went around dropping off flyers. Well, flyers are just excuses to have communication with the people. These are people that we either haven't spoken to yet, won't answer their phone, Maybe we've emailed them. No email. I mean, we send emails yeah. and texts, but there's no response. Yeah. And so uh, those are ones where we're maybe not expecting the uh, response. But anyway, there was there was one that uh, we did get a lady to come to the door. And her husband had been less than nice uh, in texting back and forth. And so I wasn't that crazy about meeting him anyway. Uh, but his wife was there, and she's very pleasant, very nice lady. We had a great, a great uh, little mini conversation with her. Uh, she was happy to see us. We were happy to see her. So that kind of made our day. We did uh, see the sister missionaries, the new ones that just moved into Woodland mm -hmm. the last couple of weeks ago. And we were delivering a new vacuum and a new toaster. So when they saw us, they were happy to see us because they were getting a new vacuum and a new toaster. But they're so cute. They're just young and vibrant and uh, working hard. And so it was a it was a great day. The last thing is today. Today, right now, it's uh, it's only 1 o'clock. We got home at 1230. We went to sacrament meeting at 930, and we spoke. Uh, both Judy and I spoke. Judy did a, a, just a great job. And, uh, and Craig some, did a great job. Oh, we're great. And... Uh, the best part about speaking 
is when you sit down and it's over. So we're very happy now because we finished speaking and we're home in our apartment. And so, it, but it, it went well, both of them, and uh, uh, it was received well. And it's just another speaking engagement, you know. We, you prepare for speaking for days uh, on and off. And then you speak for 15, 10, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, and that's over. And that's the good part. So we did that. We're happy about it. And we're getting ready for another new week. Yep. We are uh, about two and a half months out, maybe coming up on three yeah. months. And it's, it's, it's wonderful. Even with my accident and all, I mean, that was quite traumatic, but we're doing well. We're yeah. doing really well. Yeah, we're appreciated in some circles. In some circles, they don't want to see us. We're not welcome, but we go there anyway. Uh, so there's these awkward times sometimes, and so... It's onward and awkward. That's what we're doing. That's we, what Roger told us. Yeah, Roger said somebody in Orem used that in a in a talk, and so we're using it. We we took it. Onward and awkward is our motto. Yeah, and it's really um, indicative of what it's like. You got to keep going, moving, do things, uh, one foot in front of the other, and oftentimes it's going to be downright awkward, but uh, but very rewarding. Very rewarding. It is, and so. We thank you, we love you, and have a great week. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye.